legend of Aesir. A legend from the dawn of time. Nobody knows where the world came from. A struggle caused the trinity of realities to be split into three realms. Light, darkness, and chaos. Obviously, our world was the one born from chaos. The three worlds all needed rulers. Most of all, ours. And the one that ruled the chaos became known as Ace. our rules of the world, Aesir saw through reality, and those visions became our world. These observations became Aesir's power. Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. However, Aesir pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will, so the power he wielded was split into two equal halves and entrusted each to humanity's instincts the right eye of light, and the left eye of darkness. By dividing the power of the eyes of Aesir, humans gained free will. They could now choose. With control of the eyes of the world, the eyes that determine destiny. Humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their own identities. Man is but a reed, the most feeble thing in nature. But now, we were thinking reeds, and we took our first big step towards grand prosperity. The inheritors of the eyes of Aesir have been granted the power of creation. Telling me any of your kind survived. Well, at least you're the silent type. The last sage I met spent 20 minutes rambling on and on. What? escape this fate. We will perish together. My dear sweet child, at last you have fulfilled your promise to me. Fear not, for I am always watching over you. But the right eye of light was lost from the world forever, along with its possessor, the last of the Lumen Sages.
investigate the continued reports of unusual weather and strong earthquakes occurring throughout the region. Officials are currently trying to determine the source of these phenomena, as citizens nervously clamor for answers. Our special report on the regional disasters, Major Unleashed, continues after these messages. You know what I need? Some heels without guns. You don't mind if we make a quick stop, do you? Do you know what day's coming up? Here I was shopping, minding my own business, then you show up and turn me into a damn porter. Seriously, Bayonetta, you still haven't paid me back for the car. Hey, whoa! Now, now, is that any way to speak to an old friend? Besides, I did that job for you. For free, I dad. Do I really have to tell everyone how you grabbed onto my leg, sobbing like a schoolboy? <sighs> this is why I can't have good things. You're some piece of work, you know that? If you weren't already lined up to go to Inferno, you'd be well on your way with all the shit you pull. Dressing up like a nun just so you can off some angels and keep the underworld happy. Hey, I'm talking to you. <clears throat> shit. But if it's that or getting torn limb from limb for eternity in whatever circle of Inferno you witches go to if you break the contract, forget about it. I'd off the fucking wing bastards all damn day. Oh, hey, what the hell? <clears throat> but what the fuck are you wasting your time trying to send some schmucks off to the afterlife for? Oh. Done and done. Let's go home, Enzo. Hey, wait a second. I ain't done here. If I don't get what I came for, I'm gonna be the biggest mutt in the city. And what is it that you came to fetch, my dear? Eh, real funny. I know better than to tell you a damn thing. I'll never hear the fucking end of it. know how to make an entrance, John. A rare sight to see you in the city. Just had something I had to look into. Cereza, you haven't felt anything strange recently. Now that you mention it, I still haven't quite figured out how a broke, bumbling wise guy managed to turn himself into a semi-respectable family man. Forget about it. And what's this Cereza shit? You're about as sweet as my Nona's grappa, you know that? Some witch with amnesia goes around calling herself a weapon, and it turns out she really got stuck with a kid's nickname. That shit's rich, I tell you what. <laughs> Our friends in Paradiso are far too quiet. I'm sure you've noticed. But they aren't the only ones. Pray tell. Our friends down south seem to be a bit upset as well. And now in light news, the annual holiday parade is being held today. City police have closed off roads to prepare for the massive influx of merrymakers expected to take in this year's festivities, set to be headlined by a flyover from the military's aerial acrobatics unit. Police have now to news the parade may break all time attendance records. Whoa, shit! The Platinum Stars! We need to hurry up and get Ed and Edna's presents, or I'm gonna get it. We'll talk later. I'll see you back home. Don't forget to pick up the things for the party. What's the matter with you? I told you what I'm after. A jet. I want a toy jet. You know, the kind with wings, flies in the sky. No, I'm not buying any damned angels. Yellow, blue, I don't care what color they are. I learned my lesson with those bastards, you hear me? 
Just a normal damn jet, please! You hear that? I want one of those! The thing's flying in the air right now! That's the one! That's the biggest one you got in the store, right? Wrap it up nice, will you? It's a present for God's sakes. No! Oh, you know what? Screw the pretty ribbon! Just hurry up and put it in the box, will ya? I try to avoid doing this in my Sunday best. <laughs> At least your lot still knows how to make an end. I never buy anything on sale. Oh, didn't I say it? This is why I can't have nice things. Damn it, car! Start already! Right on time to deliver a little holiday cheer. Oh, fucking wonderful! Bro, 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 Don? But I don't believe in Santa! Watch your mouth, Ito. Don't want anyone offering you for sack, bitch, before you pay your tax. I be fucking leaveable! Ah!
beautiful.